In this video, we're going to solve the given equation symbolically, graphically, and numerically. To solve the equation symbolically, we'll first of all multiply both sides by 6 to clear out all the fractions. 6 is the least common denominator. Make sure you distribute the 6 to each term inside the parentheses. We divide 3 into 6 to get 2, 2 into 6 to get 3, and 6 into 6 to get 1. Then we distribute and multiply. Combine like terms. And then to get x by itself, subtract 2x from both sides and add 3 to both sides. We get 2 is equal to x. That's our answer. To check our answer, we substitute 2 back into the original equation. When we do the arithmetic, we get 1 half equals 1 half, which checks out. To solve the equation graphically and numerically, we're going to look at the left and right hand separately. We're going to let the left hand side be y1 and the right hand side be y2. That gives us two equations and two variables. To graph these, we'll use our calculator, making sure that we use parentheses around each numerator. So after the calculator is turned on, go to y equals up in the upper left hand corner and enter the first equation for y1. Again, remember to put the x plus 1 in parentheses so that we divide 3 into the whole numerator and not just the 1. Okay, then enter y2 is equal to the quantity 3x minus 3 over 6. Once you've entered the equations, you want a good viewing window. So we're going to go to Zoom and select Zoom 6, which is a standard viewing window. It goes from negative 10 to 10 along the x-axis and negative 10 to 10 along the y-axis. Using trace, we can try to locate the point of intersection, which is where the solution will be. We see that x is about 2. But to get a better viewing window, we'll go back to Zoom and select zoom decimal number 4. This time when we trace, the x values will be decimal values and it will be easier to get points on the graph. So we're going to get some points on y1. Notice y1 in the upper left hand corner. We see that the point 3.51 is on the graph, so we plot that. Trace in the other direction. And we see the point negative 2.5, negative 1 is on the graph. So we plot that point and then draw a line that passes through those two points. Next, we want to graph y2. So use your up arrow key to move to y2. We have the point negative 3, negative 2. And the point 3, 1. Again, draw a line that passes through those two points. Our blue line is y1 and the red line is y2. The point of intersection is where we're going to look for our solution. It's what the two lines have in common. Now to find the point of intersection, we can use a feature on our calculator called Calculate. We go to Second, Trace, and select number 5, which is Intersect. We press enter to select the first curve, enter to select the second curve, and then use our arrow key to move to the point of intersection and press enter. It tells us the intersection is 2.5. The x value of the point of intersection is the solution to our equation. We get x equals 2 just like we got before when we solved the equation symbolically. To solve the system numerically means we need to make a table of values. So we go back to our calculator, press second window for table set, put table start at negative 3 in our increment by 1 to correspond with the table that we have in front of us. Go to second graph, which is table, and we can see the y1 and y2 values that correspond for each x. 
When we scroll down to x equals 2, we see that y1 and y2 have exactly the same y value. So we know that x equals 2 is the solution. The solution occurs where y1 and y2 are equal to each other. So once again, the solution to our equation is x is equal to 2.